Hey folks, welcome back to Quick Reviews, the show where we quickly review some video games that we've been playing. Our ranks go from F, which is a bad game, to A, which is a good game, and sometimes we award the rank of S, which blows up the scale, and it's an absolute must-play. With me today, I have Warak. Hi, my name is Warak, and I do reviews sometimes. Oh, <laughs> we did that one already. Oh. And Fajitas. Hi there. How are you guys doing? Let's uh, talk about the Switch, because we got the system last Friday, and we've been playing three games. Let's start yep. with the elephant in the room. Let's talk about Zelda. Let's talk about Zelda. Are you sure you want to start with that one? Let's start with the big we one, the headliner. The... Okay. Let's Zelda is a fantastic game. But how can you tell it's a fantastic game compared with other games? How can you say this is... It's just so different and huge and there's something interesting happening all the time. So basically, Zelda brings a bunch of systems that video games have been doing for the past 10 years but it polishes them and combines them in a way that they harmonize perfectly with each other, I feel. Mm. And also, the, the fact that it doesn't hold your hand and uh, lets you explore and discover this stuff for yourself makes every discovery uh, that much more worthwhile and satisfactory. Satisfacting? Satisfactory? Satisfaction. Satisfaction. I think it's satisfactory, right? Like a factory of satisfaction, something like that. Sa something like that. <laughs> yeah. Satisfactory. <laughs> Our factory now produces satisfaction. Yes. <laughs> Join us. By now. From from what I've played, I mean, I really liked it. Mm -hmm. And from what I've seen you play, the game looks fantastic. It's like huge open world. Uh, there are some system. There are some systems that I'm trying to get used to, like the crafting and the the weapon breaking system. Mm -hmm. But I think that when I pick it up. I, I still gonna enjoy it despite I don't like very much of the systems. Yeah, th those systems are nuisances for sure. Like that's a big negative for me on that game. But at the same time, the, the stuff that is good about Zelda makes that th those nuisances feel almost meaningless in comparison, you know? I feel very hard to look at Zelda objectively because I'm completely in love with this game. And I haven't felt this way about a video game in a very long time. I, I've been playing video games for as long as I can remember, I don't remember enjoying a game this much. And granted, when I finish the game, I'll probably have a more solidified feeling, a more solid opinion on it. And right now I'm just in the honeymoon phase of mm. discovering stuff here and there. And it's hard to talk about it without spoiling because the discovery... It's a major part, it's a major part yeah. of the game itself. So this, going around, discovering stuff, telling a different story than other people, mm. that might be a major part of the video yeah. game. It's because the game has all these systems that interact with each other yeah. and it just lets the player use them as they want to. Yeah. So when you discover something, an event, a boss fight in the, the open world or a puzzle that you need to solve, because it's got all these physics uh, systems and the weather system and uh, the, even the weapon durability and all that stuff, yeah, yeah. it just lets the player come up with their own solutions and the, the way you find stuff also feels very natural, very dynamic. So each player is going to have a different story to tell when it comes to Zelda. Yeah, exactly. And th that's another thing. You can solve problems in a different way, mm. uh, especially when you find like uh, goblin camps. What goblins? What goblins? What? No. Yeah, you can uh, defeat them in different ways with the weapons they, they, give, they give you. I actually like breaking weapons. Mm. That, that's how I see the effect of them breaking. It's actually very beautiful. So I break them on purpose so I can see the effect all over again. So, well, um, they're still at the beginning. Like, <laughs> that, that that particular magic goes away. Yeah, um, I'm actually joking, but um, for now it's not actually affecting me that much. But uh, I've seen him play a little bit. And if you actually look at the, the stream we did, you can actually see uh, the surprise in our faces and uh, the, the element of uh, discovery that, yeah. uh, that we found. On That's that a game. testament to that game. We mm. started that Magical Impressions without any plan. I went into a new area and said, I'm just going to explore. And this game is going to give me stuff to do. And sure enough, it gave me stuff to do. It surprised us uh, in many different ways. Just think about it. I jumped into a game not knowing what I was going to show. And I knew for sure the game was going to give us something interesting to do. Mm. Yeah, exactly. And we did that on a, such a small portion of the map that if you look at that entire map, it's huge and it's full of stuff for you to discover. And here's the best part, and this is the stuff that people don't talk about enough. That's just a bonus. That's a big bonus, that's a very satisfactory bonus for sure, but you remove all that open world mystery discovery stuff, it's still a very good Zelda game. It's still got great boss fights, it's still got amazing dungeons, amazing dungeons, really. Uh, if you just follow the main story, it's still a great Zelda game. 
Yeah, also I need to tell, sometimes games forget that sometimes we want to find stuff by ourselves and uh, and some games actually give us the tools mm. to find out how to play that game. Yeah. And I feel Zelda does a good job on doing that. Yeah, it teaches yeah. you some stuff, but there are a lot of mechanics to discover for yourself. And the, exactly. th those loading screens, they have very useful tips. Also, side note, I think it's safe to say it's not a game for everyone, because if you like, like just Going for a game for and follow the trail of the story and just going straight to the finish. Uh, you're mean, not. You can do that. You but can you're do gonna that, miss out on. You're gonna miss out, miss out on a lot of stuff, and maybe the game is not going to be as beautiful for you as if you just take your time to enjoy every part of so the game. So you, you you're saying that some people like just linear, uh, you know. Yeah, sure. Game, you know, just, uh, sure. Some people just like a more a more linear adventure than than this game provides. Yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of survival mechanics that uh, some and that's people right. might not like. And so. that, yeah, that's all right. It's, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying it's not for everyone, but. For me, I think it's beautiful, and I haven't played a lot, but I really want to get into it. And and we can we can ramble about like the the performance issues on the on the docket mode and and the Wii U apparently. And the, yeah, yeah we uh, haven't it only runs well on handheld. Can I can I ask? Are those but uh, issues solvable with updates? Can I ask? That? I don't think so. Like that's a hardware limitation. Yeah, Is it and, a and it's a bad hardware limitation to have at the beginning of your system. True. Sure. So I don't feel comfortable awarding. An S rank before I finish the game. Mm. Sure, but this is a, the the most solid A I've ever given a the game. Plus. And once I finish it, we'll sure come sure. back to it. I'm I'm sorry that I, I can play. I don't have my own console. I am playing on uh, Globus console. No one cares. Moving on. Let's talk about. I don't know. Want to want to talk about one two switch. Let's talk about one two switch. So this is the game everyone's saying should be a pack in. It's a great showcase for the Joy-Con controllers and what they can do. Is it a fun game? It's a fun Once. game. Once. <laughs> Once says Vegeta. Once. I've, I've played twice mm -hmm. and it was like, it's it's really, it's really fun to show your friends. It's yes. like you said, one one friend comes in and is like, oh, this, this is what the Switch can do. If he comes back on the next day, it's like, yeah, we're not playing this again. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, so yeah, it should be a pack-in game because it teaches how, how the console works. Yeah. Uh, but then they slapped a 50 euro price. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a very steep price. It's a very sure. steep price. Okay. I, I would accept like, 15. There shouldn't be a price tag on, on that game. I'm sorry. Mm. That game should just come with the console itself because if it is like uh, something to test the mechanics of, uh, you know. It is. Yeah. The, it, um, it's a game. It's a uh, tech demo uh, disguises the game. But mm. I'm, I can say it's funny only once. It's funny in the beginning. The first months. If you play in that a, like a lot. I, I'm in between you two because I, I think that game can be fun for a long time, especially with uh, your non-gamer friends. You, you get someone sure. over yeah. to your house and they can play it. And in but at the same time, out of those 28 mini games, I think five have long replay value because the others are just novel. You see them once and you're done. But there are a few like Quick Draw is fun to play multiple times. Quick time. Draw is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, Sword Fight is fun to play yeah. multiple times. Table Tennis is fun to play multiple times. Yeah. There, there's a handful of mini games in there that you're going to get your time's worth um, from them. But I, I don't think, you know, that justifies the price necessarily. Sure. And that's a very low number of mini games that have replayability uh, compared to the total games that, that are in the system. Uh, exactly. The funniest one for me was actually the, the imitation one. The one you have to imitate. Oh, copy each pose. Other. Copy pose. Yeah. That was super funny for you to do. That's one yeah. of the ones that I think is only works the first yeah. time. Yeah, first time it's good, then it's like, I yeah, think it will I don't want to do, like, do that again. Uh, a few you can more do times. It. A few more times it will work for me because okay. I, I would laugh a lot with that. You know, sure. What and, kind and, of poses can and, you do? And I think that in certain just... environments, that game is it's mm -hmm. okay to replay again. It's like if you're having a party or if you're <laughs> having some friends over, it's like, okay, it's, it's a fun night. We want to do something different. Everyone wants, wants to participate on, on the same stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we can play one to switch. But then on the like regular days, no, please, no, I don't want just to play that again. No, just playing with two people, I don't think it would make a lot of sense. I think those are party games. Now the question is, how mu how much do you value that party? Like, are you w willing to spend the fifty bucks to uh -huh. to show off this game when you have friends over no. at, at your place? Like, no, 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 that's that's up to each viewer, each one. I, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I actually tested this on Saturday with sure. friends coming over, and we played one two switch and. I think the feeling is pretty much the same. They they were sort of marveled by by that stuff uh, at first, but only a few games I could see them playing again. Not not all yes. of them for sure. And the joy the left Joy-Con kept uh, failing. Yay! So that's always fun when you have someone over playing this console for the first time and he's like, this is, this thing's not working right, or am I doing something wrong? You know, and that's those are not good questions to have so on a new console. The rumors is, oh, is it confirmed. true? It's, it's confirmed. confirmed. Uh, it's yeah. it's a yeah, the it's left Joy-Con has problems. 
I will give it a D. <laughs> you would give it a D. I think it's almost a bad game, so yes. It's D. almost. Oh, it can be. Yeah, it, sure. I, give I just don't, give, don't don't give like, don't go below the score uh, because I. Th I don't think it's a bad game. Yeah, I don't but think it's it's it's, 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 a, it's just not. It's not enjoyable a for a long time. It's it's a novelty. And yeah. uh, they uh, they are asking too much for the game. Definitely. Yeah, and adding to the price tag, sure. Okay. Let's talk about sniper clips. Let's go. I love that game. It's really good. I okay, caveat. You only play this with someone if you're by yourself, you don't have someone to play this cooperatively with. Don't. Forget about it. And as we score this game, forget about it if you're by yourself. This game's not sure. for you. This is a cooperative puzzle game. That said, it's really fun. The description I can give this game is you have to cut each other to solve puzzles. Is yeah. that it? Yeah. And you can so co sort of cut each other in any shape you want. So each puzzle has different solutions. Like you come up with your own solutions. And mm -hmm. that's what's so satisfactory about it. Okay. And also like the little character animations, you fall in love with those guys right away. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I also like the fact that the game doesn't give you directions. You don't jump into a puzzle and it says, put this ball in this basket. No, you have to look at the puzzle and figure out, okay, what does the game want me to do? And then you try stuff out and you talk to your partner the whole time and you try different solutions. And that's sure. where the fun comes in, which is why I don't think this game's fun uh, for, for just one player. And yeah. also, like, if you're just one player, you're still gonna have two characters on screen, and you're just switching between them. Yeah, that's. And I don't think that's a good mechanic. Uh, it's not as fun as having two players play it at the same time. Which, to your point, uh, the two to four player mode always uses four characters. So if you're only two players, you're both switching back and forth. Exactly, and it's four. But it's it's four players. I can believe that gets a little chaotic. Yeah, I don't want to deal with three other people and tell them, okay, now please don't screw this up and do this correct. Like I don't want to do that with uh, three other people. One one partner, perfect. And I wish they they had expanded more on the two player uh, puzzles, but they decided to include. Sure, the four I haven't finished. So I don't know how many puzzles are there. No, I haven't reached the end of that. Either. Okay. Yeah. But there, there are a lot. So, to, so play cooperatively, like two, two people. Yeah. Uh, so it's really good. But then there's another versus mode. Versus mode is which a, a it's, gimmick, I guess. It's, it's okay, yeah. I guess. It's it's not very good. It's but it's not bad. It's not the focus of the game, but you know, it, it's it's silly. Do they? You know, this this game has like limited le limited levels, or you yeah. can actually create levels and play other people's levels. Oh, I like wish. That. That, Th that, there's no. That creation. would be a very clever addition for sure. Mm -hmm. But no, there 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 are limited levels. You the finish a set of puzzles, you unlock another world, which is another set of puzzles. We're in agreement that this is a good game. I think this is a really good game. Yeah. I think because of the you know the competitive mode being eh, kind of whatever and the two to four player stuff i would probably give it a b and that's that was my score too okay and before we finish i think you lose any you shouldn't vote for games because you are playing wwe so you lose you just <laughs> that's not the new. right to vote in that's any not game. going to make your journalistic credibility has gone down the exactly yes. yeah so let's close the, the video like this let us know which games are you planning on buying for the switch or if you're planning to buy a switch uh knowing that kind of stuff helps us decide which content to make in the future if we know there's a lot of people with a switch we might cover more switch games exactly leave us a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe and someday we'll have an end screen that we can show off live like but uh yeah for now you get to see this stock footage yeah yeah great thanks for make a screen and screen make ice cream too